Welcome back to another Modi Soft Back Office video. My name is Jonathan, and today we're going to be going over on how to do the ePrint setup in your Modi Soft Back Office. So this ePrint setup is very important if you want to be writing checks for your business, whether you're going to be doing checks for your vendors, employees, maybe you're going to be doing payroll, things like that. You will need to do the ePrint setup to set up your whole check system in the Modi Soft Back Office. In order to do that, you will need to go to your main menu in the top left corner, go to Setup, Settings, and then you will see here ePrint Setup. So once you log in to the ePrint Setup, you will see your bank accounts that you have on file here. If you do not have a bank account here because maybe this is your first time setting up your store you will need to create it first in the chart of accounts so I'm going to show you how to do that first so let's just pretend this is a brand new account and you would like to add your bank that is going to be for example Bank of America now in order to do that you would go first go to your setup stores your chart of accounts and then you're going to go into the banking system tab and click add new in the far right corner here so once you do that you're going to put the type of account it's going to be it's going to be bank subtype will be bank account and then you will just put the name here of the bank that you are trying to add once you do that make sure it's set to active then just hit save and close and now you've added your bank to the system. So now whenever you go back to the ePrint setup, you will see that Bank of America is here and you are able to now use it to set up your checks. So once you have your account in the ePrint setup bank tab, then you're gonna be able to do a couple things here. So in details, you will be able to enter the information here for the bank and you're able to put any kind of information that is required and enter in your information once you enter that information you have the ability to enter a logo of the bank if you want don't have to and then you are able to put your signature here so that whenever you cut checks out and you print out your checks that it will already have the signature and you don't have to sign your checks so just click here new signature and then you're able to use your mouse you know do whatever signature you want to do hit save and then this will be your signature every time you cut a check out either to vendors or whenever you're cutting checks out if you do payroll for employees once you do that hit save and now that has saved for Bank of America. And then manage checks. This is important. So if you have a checkbook and you will be cutting checks out in Modisoft back office, whenever you're creating new checks, it is going to start based off of where you entered on your checkbook. So let's say you've already, you know, halfway through your checkbook, you're on check number 500, then you can put here check 500. And how many checks are in your checkbook? Let's say there's a thousand checks. So it will start at 500 and then a thousand checks later is whenever this series is gonna end. So then you would just hit save and this will save your check series for Bank of America. Now, every time you cut a check out, whether you're cutting a check out to a vendor or you're cutting it out to employees, every time you cut that new check out, it will start at 500 and then it'll keep going up until you run out of those thousand checks. Once you have set that up here, you are now able to use the next three tabs here, your store, your alerts, and your manage payees. So store here, you're going to put your corporation name, your store name, the address and information for this store. And if you want to lock the ePrint access. So where we are right now in the ePrint setup, if you want to lock it with a password so that if any of, so that no one can access this ePrint setup unless they enter the password, 
then you are able to enter a password here. Now, if you don't want to, you just leave it blank and you just hit save here in the bottom right corner. Then once you've done that, you can go to your alerts. So now alerts would be for ePrint setup. Anytime your employees cut out checks, you can be alerted whether it is email or a text message. So you are able to make that set up here. You can put whatever you would like here, whether it's your email, cell phone number, and if it is a cell phone number, what is the company that you are using, whether it's Verizon, AT&T, et cetera, and then how you would like to receive alerts. So do you want to receive only email, only text, or do you want to receive both? And you want to see if it's active or not, check mark here to make it active, and then you're able to put whatever stores, maybe if you have multiple stores, like how this account here has multiple stores, you want to do all stores, or maybe you only want to do some of the stores that are cutting checks out, because maybe not all your stores cut checks. Maybe, for example, it's just these three stores that are cutting checks, so you only want to receive alerts for these stores. Once you've entered all this information in, let's uncheck text here because we don't have a cell phone number. We'll just hit save. And then this will set up your alerts. Once you've done that, you can go to manage payees. And based on the vendors that you have, those will show here. So this again is our demo account. So we might have vendors here that you at your location may or may not have. So all your vendors are gonna be here. This is going to preload with whatever your settings are already for your payee section that you've already created in the Modisoft back office. So you do not have to actually update this if you've already made those changes whenever you first created these vendors. The only purpose for this page is mainly to show you, but if you do need to make a change, you can make the change here. Now in ePrint settings, you are able to assign the max amount that a certain vendor can receive for a check, how many times you are able to print a check for a specific vendor, and then send an alert to yourself if a check is more than a certain amount. So for example, for Big Red that we have here, the max amount that you are able to cut out to Big Red as a vendor is $2,000. So if, you tr if your employees try to, for example, cut a check out for $2,500, the system will stop you and it will not let you cut a check out because this is the max amount that you have set. Now, if you only allow here two prints per week, that means that every time Big Red comes in, your employees will not be able to cut out that check. Or if an employee tries to cut out a check to Big Red again, more than twice. Now here it's showing alert if the amount is more than $1. So if you're cutting a check for a couple hundred dollars or $50, anything more than a dollar, then the alerts that you set up here on that third tab, you will get that text or email saying that that check was cut out. And then the print yes or no means that you are, this employee is allowed to print this check or not and you have the ability to do it to all your vendors, your employees, miscellaneous, and all your expenses. So you're able to customize all of your vendors so that you can put whatever the max amount, how much they can print, and the alerts if required. Once you have entered all that information, just hit save here in the top right corner. That will save all your work that you do. And now, on this final tab here, you can assign your payees to the users. So if you have, for example, we have two users here, we have the owner and then Jonathan. Now, if you only want Jonathan to cut checks out to a certain amount of vendors that you have, you are able to check mark which vendors that Jonathan is able to cut checks for. So if ADT comes in, for example, and is doing a camera installation, 
Whenever Jonathan tries to print a check, he would not be able to cut a check out to ADT because you have not given him permission to cut checks for ADT. Only you as the owner would be able to print those checks out. Now, if you want Jonathan to make checks for all of your payees, you can just check here at the top and that will check mark all the payees. Otherwise, you can just check, pick and choose which vendors that this employee has access to print. Once you do that, click assign payees. This will assign them their correct um, privileges to being able to print checks out. So now that you have set up all of the settings for the ePrint setup, let me show you where you would go to actually print a check for a vendor so that you'll be able to see how you can cut checks out to your vendors. So go into the menu at the top left corner, you will see the option for bank, and then there is an option for ePrint. So you will click on ePrint, and then here is where you are able to create your checks. So whether it's going to be from a purchase, if it's a miscellaneous check, or if it's an expense, you are able to create that type of check on this page. And whatever check paper you have, whether it's printed paper or blank paper. So the difference between the two, blank paper would be the special type of paper that you can purchase from any location, such as like a Costco or any place like Amazon that sells this type of check papers that's completely blank. And our software would basically print everything. It'll print your account number, your signature. It'll print everything on that check for you. Now, printed paper, if you decide to do that, this is paper that has already got pretty much everything on the paper. It's got your name. It's got the routing and account number. It's got the pay to the order of, the amount line. Everything's pretty much ready to go. The only thing that we would fill out would be the amount, the vendor, and the memo, and the date would go on that check. So that is the main difference between the two pieces of paper that you would be using. So just make sure you select the right paper before you actually create the check. So once you have selected whether it's going to be a purchase, miscellaneous entry or expense check and what type of paper you're using, we're going to go ahead and create that check. So let's go ahead and use Bank of America since that's what we just created just now. Then we're going to select our vendor that we're creating this check for, the amount, that we are going to be doing this check for. And then you are able to put a memo here. It's optional um, for your records only. You don't have to put it. And then once you do that, just hit save and it will create that entry. Once you do that, you're able to go here, hit print checks. And then you will see that this check here, Bank of America, board in check number 500, because that's what we put under the manage checks. And then for the amount to 50. So you're able to select that check. Then you're going to click here, print, select a check on blank paper. Once you do that, it will create the check for you. It'll have your signature, everything here. So now all you have to do is just put your blank paper in your printer, and then you are able to print that check out for your vendor. We hope that you found this guide useful in better understanding your ModiSoft back office. Please like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you will always be up to date on your ModiSoft back office. Thank you and have a wonderful day.